Joy today, we'll see. Sonic Old Bradley's trying to work the barriers here. Uh, goes very, very tight in. He's got a lead out man and with Heinrich Hauser doing a superb job for him. But it's a pick up time here uh, for the boys from Trek Dead Center. Meanwhile, Group Palmer Francis and Jure get themselves round and out uh, and show their, put their nose in the wind. That's the drag we were talking about. And Phil Jill digs deep. He's going to have some fun here, is he? Well, let's see who can catch him as he's sprung here on absolutely everybody here. This would be outstanding, Sean. And he's going around him himself. Can he hold them off? Phil Jill out front at the moment and they're chasing him down. That's Group Palmer. They've got Christoph on the back. Well, Christoph is a green jersey of Peter Sagan. And Dagan Cobb's in the mix here as well. Uh, sitting on the just behind as well. And here we go. Demar goes for it. Christoph, when he puts his nose in the wind, he usually goes backwards. Let's see if that's the case right now. And it is. The European champion has been tagged as he fights and more drive on Sagan on the line between Sagan and Christoph. And Sagan believes he has got it. Oh my goodness, what a sprint, and wasn't that fantastic to have the classic... So we've gone over a bridge. This is uh, your turn, oh, your right job. And then down we have it, a big one. Oh, and into the barriers they go. And the other jersey's involved as well. It's not going to be Gaviria today. Uh, 1.9 kilometers to go. Let's see who survived. Sagan's in there. So is Dagan Cobb. So is Christoph. Christoph in the white. Dagan Cobb just in front of him. And it's Dagan Cobb that tries to go around Sagan. Sagan in the uh, uh, hoops of the world champion. And Alec Relief. And that goes up there. Oh, my goodness. DeMar goes for it. And it's uh, Gripalus on his case. But it's Sagan. Slots in as well. Sagan's got to be favourite right now. And here he comes, the world champion, round the outside. Can anyone follow in his way? It's a wrestling match between himself and everybody else. And it is going to be the rainbows that hit the line first. Second, you can be clock reset and only one second gap. This gets Sagan going to respond. 730 metres remaining. Oh, there is Gilbert. Kicks on. He's going to have a dig at this. Gilbert goes for it. This is absolutely fantastic. But Paul Boy on his case as well, I believe it is. And Gilbert starts to grind. Julian Simon, in fact, it's on his case. Here's Greg Van Avermaet. There is uh, uh, Julian Alaphilippe as well. But it's uh, Philippe Gilbert that's having a dig here, and it looks like he may well just bring it home. 500 metres, is he going to fade? He's got Avermaet, of course, Greg Van Avermaet in the yellow jersey. He starts to weave. He wasn't too sure about it. Conferley also very much in the mix. And Sagan looks cool as anything. It looks like he's, uh, he's just about to, at the end, to, about to have himself a little peppermint here. At the end of a piece, let's see. The dining's not finished just yet. Van Kanchelaar. Wie durft er beginnen? Vanuit traagheid, vanuit stilstand haast. Wat een manoeuvres. 
Wat een manoeuvres. Cancellara dan toch. Opgelet, Cancellara. Opgelet. Sprinten van in het zadel. Gaan ze nog sprinten? Daar gaat Kuznets op. Ah, maar de reactie is wel goed, is wel knap. Maar uh, Sagan zit daar aan het wiel, moet daar heel even uitwijken. Kuznetsov, Kuznetsov, Kuznetsov. Wel, 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 wel. Wie komt daar nog over? Saganetje, Saganetje in extremis. Sagan, Sagan, Sagan wint Gent Wevelgem. Voilà, hij is er vanaf. Hij is er vanaf. Hij is er vanaf. Hij wint voor het eerst in de regenboogtrui. En dan de sprint voor een ereplaats met Demar, die uh, plaats 5 pakt. Looks behind, there are chasers on behind, attackers coming from behind, and they have to be careful because BMC are approaching, as you said, Magnus. It is a whole bunch behind them as well. Then it appears it's going to be a really exciting finish to Kurna Brussel Kurna. The favorite still is Sagan here. 300 meters, and they've got to launch it. And here goes Peter Sagan, the world champion. Peter Sagan for Borna. Peter Sagan all the way. Peter Sagan opening a gap. 150 to go. Surely a chance is going to be at a canter. Peter Sagan. Super pracuje po, pro pana Vrmeta, výborně. Tak tohle je poslední prudká zatáčka. Richie Port nastupuje, za ním Alberto Contador, Rafael Majka, Peter Sagan. To mohlo být na Sagan na tohle. Tak Richie Port s viditelným náskokem jde do poslední pětistovky. Druhý muž vydáme ho, který teda nedokne, kde přišel o žluťáka až poslední dnou, ale je to ještě hodně dlouhé. Za ním už je Rafael Majka s Petrem Saganem. Petr Sagan. Petr Sagan. Petr Sagan. <laughs> Petr Sagan. To jsme suverénní těství. Tak jdeme do poslední přístovky. Petr Sagan se ohlíží, jaká je situace za ním. Pozor, Edval Boasson Hagen je tam v barvách týmu Dimension Data. Také Rafael Majka a Greg van Avermet. A Petr Sagan vykopoval. Den Martin nebo Greg van Avermet. Petr Sagan. Petr Sagan za sebou stále drží Fana Vrmeta i Dena Martina. Tak bude to osmé vítězství v kariéře Petra Sagana, ale pozor na Michael Matthewse. Michael Matthews, a nebo Petr Sagan. Tak to byl krásný souboj, ale Petr Sagan se raduje, asi to viděl dobře. To byl dlouhý sport. He's waiting there in that green jersey. A win today could well give him that jersey long before we get to Sacramento on Sunday. Well, you've got to take your hat off to uh, Mr. Sammy Sanchez, Olympic gold medalist. But again, more attacks. Nobody's going to uh, lay down here and allow BMC to dominate. They're quite happy to go out on the attack again and again. And Sagan is covering all of the moves in the green jersey. He's dodging every wheel he can get a grip of now, that rider in the green jersey, because he knows he's got the sprint, but he's got to hang on there, and they're not going to give him a ride to the finish. It is so difficult on a motor race track to ride a bike. Whoa, look at that! There's a famous corkscrew right there, the right-hand corner. They have a little bit more of a scent. That was one kilometer to go right there. One kilometer to go to bring to an end another great day of racing on the Ambient Tour of California. The day four of eight, the end of the halfway stage, they've thrown everything. What happened to the 137 riders only seven miles ago? There's a handful left. Well, uh, you can see BMC racing now in second and third position, know exactly who they want to watch. You might just have noticed the rider in the white jersey from Trek Segafredo with the bandage on his knee. That was Peter Stettner, the man who was the animator of yesterday's stage. But they're even causing gaps in this uh, group here as they go downhill. It's a long time since I've seen a race like this. The riders are chasing everything to try and be into the position for a sprint. And all the time, the cool operation there of Peter Sagan. This is Janse van Rensburg going again to see if he can make it. He's got a good shot here. Sagan's trying to get through in the middle. It's going to be a very, very tight finish as he comes up to the line. Peter Sagan. Oh, hard, hard to pick out, is he, with that, uh, with that beard? There's plenty of other strong riders. And I don't doubt that these riders in there as well are thinking about putting a little bit of overall time into some of the... Uh, some of the GC contenders that could well have missed this split. Albacini realizes he's got to go to the front. Albacini is uh, definitely the sort of guy who will make the effort laid on. We saw that in the edge. I think he's making a mistake here. You know, we're into the last eight kilometer and uh, I think he should be sitting on. I think he should be sitting at the back. 
and be, be, be prepared to, to lose this because they, they've got Michael Matthews uh, clo you know, closing in from behind and uh, you know the fastest man here is uh, Peter Sagan, hands down. Well, it's the local man's going to need it out. Peter Sagan has done so much work, has he got enough to get in touch? As Sylvain Dillier finds that he's struggling to get on terms inside the last 50 metres. As Sagan goes, the left hand side of picture, no one's going to stop Sagan. Sagan takes two in a row. Dillier and Albacini there as well, as, uh, as it looked as if Steve Art might have left the group in behind.